to show you uh, what we're doing on a part of this field. Hopefully it's not too bad. I believe this is pennycress. This weed here. And then this here with some of the leftover uh, turnip that went to seed. Last year this was in wheat and the turnip was a cover crop. And we're going to try to bury some of these weed seeds. And Dad is here with the 4020. This is a grass waterway right in front of him. So you can see it pop out of the ground here in front of the waterway. Three bottom fly. Drop back in the ground here. Generally, we don't plow, but we're trying this here, like I said, as an experiment um, based on some. I think it was an old grain conference. Somebody talked about if you do plow every three or four years, you can bury those weed seeds, you know, basically 10, 12 inches down. In our fields, primarily, it's pigweed and lamb's quarter. Um, excess fertility, occasional foxtail, occasional thistle, Canadian thistle. But this pennycress here is more of an annoyance than anything, and I think it came about because it was. I haven't seen it out prior to last year, and somehow we've got it everywhere. Now, does it come in the turkey litter, you know, blah, blah, blah. But this is 40 acres roughly here, south of the, uh, the creek that runs along either side of the field or through the center of the field. We, we don't have the field on either side of the creek. And then there's a grass waterway here that uh, heads off down to the south. So he pops out of the ground and then drops back in over there. Like I said, there's about 10 acres here that he's... Uh... Wow. The weather's put us back to rain uh, a little bit. Oats are all in, the clover's all in with the oats. I was hoping to uh, plant corn today. The, the field is still too wet and it's supposed to rain for the next five days. If it does dry out, I need three days in there to plant my corn. And as soon as the corn is done, this will be in soybeans here. Good sense of uh, what's going on out here. 